Hello, beautiful soul, and welcome to the Hills Hiller Tarot. My name is Angel. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel, where we learn, grow, and expand together, working to raise the collective consciousness one unique soul at a time. This channel is dedicated to spiritual enlightenment, self-actualization, and aligning to meaning and purpose in life. So if that is something that you are interested in, then you are in the perfect place at the perfect time for the perfect reason. All we have is the now, so whenever you come across this reading, it is indeed the perfect time for you. However, we do draw upon the energies of the cosmos to help guide us like a road map towards your highest good and your greatest soul's vibration. This is a general collective energy read for the new moon in Sagittarius. So I'm going to start out with some of the messages and then we'll get into the spread. So the new moon in Sagittarius is coming in at 5.57 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the part of the world where I am. New moon in Sagittarius brings in the energy of planting those new seeds that you want to manifest and to take your life to more higher, more fulfilled levels of personal expression. So as Abram Hicks would say, launching those rockets of desire into the universe, what it is that you ideally want to manifest and create. Sagittarius is inspiration and aspiration for higher levels of success, happiness, harmony, love, fulfillment, accomplishment, and purpose of self-actualization and perfect self-expression. So I'm going to talk about just a few of the major characteristics of Sagittarius, and then we'll jump right into the reading. Oh yeah, another thing too. Jupiter is also stationed direct today. And so Jupiter rules Sagittarius. So it is really truly an opportunity for you to take your life to very high, not previously achieved before levels of manifestation. So this is a wonderful energy to set your intentions of manifestation on how you wanna see your life expand and grow over the next year. So uh, one of the things that I want to mention before we jump into the reading, sometimes we know intuitively or otherwise know that there are things that we need to release. So even though we usually do releasing exercises with the full moon, you can still do releasing exercises with the new moon, especially things that you know you need to release in order to set the intentions or to plant those new seeds in order to manifest that prosperity going forward. So you can write down all of the things that you know you need to shed as you're planting these new seeds towards your new goal or objective. So it could be things like procrastination. It can be things like um, not getting up early enough in the morning, or it could be things like not sticking to your schedule. All of the things that you already know that you haven't been doing to the highest level, you can then write down what it is that you need to release, even if it has to do with attachments. It could be a mindset or a thought or a belief, but you write it down, you take it out somewhere outside of your home, you burn it and you walk away from it and never look back. That's shedding and releasing that energy from you so that you can now begin to plant the seeds with this new moon that are going to take you to the next level. So that new moon in Sagittarius energy is talking about peace and harmony. It also talks about the order and structure of things, the truth. And the only real science or truth is that of mathematics, what we like to call natural law or universal order. It also talks about the energy of values and morals and ethical action, patience. It's a higher mind perspective, fire energy, which talks about refinement and purification. And that whole burning and releasing exercise is an aspect of, fine, of refining and purificating. So releasing that energy. 
And then there's the energy of sacrifice, right? There's always sacrifice with growth. What do you have to sacrifice to accomplish what it is that you desire? It could be something as simple as if I want to create out my second or third or fourth income stream, or if I want to leave my nine to five and actually create more wealth and in more entrepreneurial endeavor, or specifically where you're creating an automated structure of income, you'll have to sacrifice some things. So some of the things that you may have to sacrifice is how often you can go out. Maybe is how often you can eat if you need to save on finances. But whatever it is that you're sacrificing in order to make room or hold space, specifically around the aspect of time, in order to manifest that new dream or that new desire. So there's a sense of sacrifice that goes along with this intention. It is also the energy of war, right? What are you willing to go to war for? What are you willing to stand on? I always think of that emperor energy, even though we know Sagittarius energy is more about that energy of temperance and flow and structure and unity. So there's that energy that talks about the harmony and the balance, right? It's the harmony of peace, but it's also the compassion and the ability of war. So then we look at the aspects of rule over prosperity, prosperity mindset, purpose and intention, success in thinking and thought, and it's the energy of generosity. Very high spiritual perspective talks about worship and dignity and spirituality and also religion. It's a way of life, spiritual practice or practices. It also is the divine aspect of your spiritual journey because it's talking about that energy of complete personal self-expression. So it's all about being impeccable with your words. What you say has meaning and manifestation. Mastery of uh, magnetic energy is also associated with Sagittarius. Be mindful of what you think, feel, say, and do. Because what we put out into the world will come back to us as a portion or aspect of that universal law of what comes around, goes around. So there's always that manifestation of checks and balances. So let's go ahead and get into the reading, beautiful soul. We're going to do a 21. 22, 22 card spread. Before we jump into the spread, let's go ahead and see what energy is coming through. I decided to do the, um, the chakra energy because the chakra energy talks about kundalini and whenever i think of sagittarius or temperance energy i always think about kundalini energy activating your inner kundalini through working through your chakra energy to help build so we're going to look at the chakra energy in reference to the sagittarius new moon for the collective spirit what are, what is the chakra energy messages that need to come through can we get two messages one for what we see and one for what we don't see. So we're going to the aspects of the shadow and the light. And so it is. I am so grateful. I hope everybody is having a really wonderful time preparing for the holiday and Thanksgiving season for all those who celebrate Thanksgiving. And even if you don't, just what are you grateful for? And how are you spending your time with others? We have the energy of emotional balance. I love this. Stability, harmony, peace, and fluidity. 
So this is like Ace of Cups energy coming through, but I'm being immediately drawn to the numerology of the card, which is 21. That numerology talks about what it is you know and what it is that you choose. The seven energy talks about your destiny and your path. So I really love this energy. Your emotional balance comes with aligning yourself towards your higher purpose, your higher ideal, or towards your destiny and your purpose. Beautiful. Your shadow aspect. Ooh, more heart chakra energy coming through. I love this. That's very Sagittarian open expression of love. This also taps into that Venus conjunct with Mercury in Sagittarius. It's all about expressions of love and awakening of love and really the sharing of love, communicating of love with that Mercury and Venus conjunction in Sagittarius. So, ooh, and it's the 28 energy. Wow. Caring, empathy, acceptance, and gentleness. So it talks about that gradual progression. Once you align yourself with your path and your purpose, you then move into the energy of ascension and grace. So you're, the eight to the two brings the energy of the 10. So you have brand new beginnings coming in, brand new expressions of that Jupiter energy that is going to take you and expand you and move you forward. So that nine energy talks about coming into wholeness and balance within the self. Nine energy signifies and talks about wisdom through experience. So the wisdom that you've gained through your experiences is helping you to open up to this energy and how it's coming through. I love it. Beautiful energy coming in, emotional balance and compassion for the collective, for this new moon and Sagittarius energy. Then we have these two energies. I'm not going to take this as part of the spread. I wanted to shuffle a little bit more, but I just wanted to see what general energies was coming up. And I like this Knight of Cups energy because this is the energy of the throat chakra. I like this Knight of Cups energy is talking about exactly what we were just talking about. Expressions and communication of love. Look at this. The Queen of Wands energy. It's the energy expression of Aries, but it is still passion. It's still talking about showing up in fulfillment of your authentic self, unapologetically expressing what it is that you desire. But also, and this is your third eye chakra energy coming through, following that highest ideal, following that highest light and highest expression of you. But the other aspect that I love about this energy coming in, the Knight of Cups energy talks about movement forward with the emotional balance through the energy of compassion. It's bringing you into a brand new, a newness and magnetization of what it is that you desire with this energy of the new moon in Sagittarius. So definitely be impeccable with your words as you write your new moon intentions and really write explicitly about what it is that you desire during this time because it is coming into you tenfold. So for knowledge, wisdom, I'm going to do seven for the path. Perfect self-expression. Excuse me, stability and balance. Prosperity and purpose. Harmony and balance. Prosperity and purpose. And so it is. Thank you, Spirit. I am so grateful. I'm so grateful. I am so grateful. We always say our expressions and manifestations in the energy of three because the energy of three brings in the energy of creation. I make, I do, I create. So what we have coming in in the inner... Ooh, am I upside down? I am upside down with the deck. Sorry about that. We have the energy of the Princess of Wands. I love it. This is coming in in your energy of what it is that I will. So you will to move forward towards your dreams and your goals right now. This is an expression of you moving in the direction of what makes you happy, your higher ideal, your inspirations, what it is. And I love this energy because the Princess of Cups comes, talks to me about the energy of living your best life. You just want to show up, live your left best life and be happy and explore. It's an energy of exploring, of exploration and of personal self-expression and growth. 
what it is that you know, beautiful soul. Look at that Knight of Cups came back out. You know what it is that you desire. And now you're in the energy of moving towards that. This is beautiful energy coming in. It's just referencing that you are on track and you are on path to creating and manifesting what it is that you desire. So it's almost like an energy that's saying, believe in yourself. Believe in what it is that you bring to the table, your spiritual gifts, your talents, your skills, your abilities, whatever it is that you're in the process of growing and creating. Just believe in yourself and you are manifesting what it is that you desire. In the energy of what you make, do and create, you have this hermit energy coming in. So you're creating that personal self-expression, your ability to navigate and manifest in life based on what it is that you personally feel from the inside. This is the manifestation of authenticity. The hermit is not afraid to walk in this world alone. There's such a deep spiritual connection to the higher self, to all that is, to the universe, that the understanding is that I never walk alone. I'm always divinely guided and protected. And that's that solar plexus energy. It talks about the confidence and the realization of who you are, your personal skill, your personal ability, and your personal power is coming through here with this Hermit energy. Your realizations and manifestations, look at this. Your realization is that it hasn't all been easy with the Ten of Wands, but you've persevered. This is an energy that talks about resilience. Nine energy is the energy that talks about wisdom through your experience. The eight energy talks about your capability to overcome. Overcome what? Your fears. And once you overcome your fears, you gain that ability of strength through experience. And with that strength through experience comes a whole new expression through the fire there comes this change and that change talks about fortitude and resilience so this is a really beautiful energy that because this is look at more solar plexus energy you're growing stronger in your self-confidence and you're also growing stronger in your convictions for growth what it is that you choose beautiful soul look at this you choose to continue to express yourself work us on yourself i mean work on yourself and develop yourself into your highest ideal queen of pentacles energy talks about choosing to focus on your money, what it is that you're creating, your talent, skills, and abilities. It also talks about the energy of resource. You're focusing on your resource. It could be energy of assets. It is the energy that talk about Capricorn. So it could be focusing on what you do for focus, I mean, for work and career how you sustain yourself. But one of the beautiful aspects that I love about the Queen of Coins is talking about nurturing, loving, supporting, and protecting yourself for your continued growth. It goes back to that aspect of self-love is not selfishness. You need to be able to nurture yourself, take care of yourself physically, make sure you drink enough water, get adequate amounts of sleep. Because if you're not healthy, then you're no good or no support to anyone else. And health and wellness is the true epitome of wealth. How you're moving into your purpose and your path is by releasing the things that are blocking your trajectory. Releasing the things that are blocking your personal ability of self-expression. So you believe and know that you have what it takes to manifest. So these are fears, right? Where it goes back to this energy of believing in yourself. I was feeling it with the Knight of Cups. There's a sense of a need to believe in yourself and not hide your talent, skills, and abilities from the world. Be your personal self-expression. And that's another Sagittarian energy showing up authentically and very much unapologetically. So there's this energy here of releasing the fears. You choose to release the fears and balance yourself back out. Whenever I look at this card, this solar plexus energy is attached to your emotions, your personal drive. But whenever I look at this card specifically, I always think about how she has control over that devil energy. The devil just, just sitting in the background kind of watching and observing her from the shadows. But she's very unbothered very content, very self-assured in her energy. And she's holding a gold chalice, which talks about the bounty, the prosperity. Gold is the energy of the connection to source energy. 
it represents and brings in that energy of ninth chakra energy, the connection to all. And so this is that connection and understanding with that hermit energy. As long as you have that connection, that's where your personal power lies. And so there's releasing the fears is the choice here. How you're aligning with your purpose and your path is the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords energy is understanding the things that you have done in the past and how you have or have not allowed certain situations to bring you hardship. The Three energy, again, remember it talks about I do, I create, and I make. You have to take responsibility for the part that you play in your reality. Because choice or no choice is a choice and one and the same. Because even if you're not standing up for yourself, implementing the appropriate structure of boundary, understanding your own personal value, worth, and the impeccability of your own words, this energy talks about what it is that you created. So it could be the things that you say about yourself, those false truths, or it could be the things that you have allowed in your environment to create that energy. So the Three of Swords energy is talking about be mindful of the part that you play in your own personal self-sabotage, how it prevents you from moving forward. It could be the people that you, that you allow in your circumference. It could be the ways in which you show up on your own behalf. If you're doing what needs to be done, if you're slacking, if you're putting in the work or effort, it's like always do your best. Are you always doing your best or are you cheating yourself? Because when you take shortcuts, you cheat yourself out of prosperity and bounty. The only person that reaps the reward is you. So it's coming to that realization, how you've been self-sabotaging the path to your prosperity moving forward. So where does your strength lie? Look at this in the Eight of Wands, <laughs> sending those rockets of desire out into the universe, right? Your strength lies in your spirituality. And I love that. It also lies in your groundedness with that root chakra energy. But it really lies in your belief system, right? Sagittarian energy, your belief system of love, of compassion, of open expressions of the heart, of beauty, and that the only thing in life that really truly does matter is love, is how this energy is coming through. It's talk about compassion. We all know strength talks about compassion, but it also is an energy of overcoming those fears. So the fears that you're overcoming, right? That slaying the devil energy so that you can move forward and move upward and onward. Eight is an energy of spiritual growth. So it's also a keen indication of how you're moving forward with your passions, with your desires, what it is that you want and how you want to show up and manifest in this world. I love it. Your wisdom through experience is the company that you keep. I'm really feeling that because this is partnerships, groups, people that you work with or what you do for work. But this is also falling in the energy of wisdom through experience. So that wisdom and it takes you to the energy of three <laughs> and what it is in the energy of the three and the empress energy is what it is that you create. I create, I do, I make. And so it's bringing you back to that energy again, based on the company that you keep, the people that you collaborate and work with, your social group, your social structure. It's bringing up that energy of how you need to manifest. And it's almost bringing me this energy of like you need right now, at least on, on this specific point in cycling your journey. You may have to be doing it alone, especially if you're working on manifesting or creating something big. You have to rid yourself of the um, clutter or the outside noise, the distractions. And that's how you're going to bring this wish dream or manifestation into fruition. So let's see what justice is balancing. Oh, no, what the wheel is balancing out here. What's changing? Five of Wands. Yeah. Once you remove yourself from this toxic negative energy, this is what's changing. You're moving away from people, places, and things that don't serve your highest good. Things that only bring conflict and destruction into your life. This is in the place of the wheel. And it's not even necessarily something that you may be doing. 
people may just be falling off. You know, you haven't heard from them in a while or you can't catch up or get up with them. They're kind of falling out of your frequency is the energy field. And there's also that energy of towers, you know, things happening, things being revealed with that scorpionic energy that we're leaving out of as we move into this Sagittarius energy at one degree. Working on the south, that new moon is at one degree. It is a complete new reinvention of you. And it requires you to remove the chaos, remove the distraction, remove the clutter. And the universe is also aligning with that by either revealing your enemies to you in this past season or just eclipsing out and taking away things that have been blocking the path, the sorrow, the hardships, the difficulties, the conflicts. Justice is coming in and balancing things out for you with the Six of Wands, bringing you your victory and success. So the universe, the divine is coming in, moving that wheel forward, cleaning up the clutter, and you'll be left with that support system that is there to nurture you, support you, and help you along your personal journey. But you're getting a Six of Wands energy. You're being rewarded for all that you have done and for listening. These energies are the energy of third eye. So from following your intuition, allowing spirit to guide you, being submissive to the will and the way, it's bringing you the victory and the success. This is beautiful. So what are you sacrificing or what are you seeing from a different perspective that you had to walk away from some things? And this is Sagittarian energy as well. It talks about those sacrifices. What did you have to sacrifice or what do you have to sacrifice in order to have this Queen of Pentacles? In order to have the stability that you want, in order to have the resource that you want, the bounty that you want the financial structure or material prosperity that you desire what is it that you have to walk away from and leave behind because that's root chakra energy also talks about the strength your strength and capability to do what is required in order for you to have what it is that you desire so this energy is coming up to express that talks more about look what's in the energy of strength we got more root chakra energy and another eight so you have the Eight of Wands, and then you have the Eight of Pentacles. I mean, the Eight of Cups. What is it? How much strength did you have to muster up that makes you very strong, very resilient is that energy that was coming in, very determined to succeed against all odds, right? That's how we do it. Now we have the energy of what's transforming and what's changing. The Four of Wands, your environment has leveled up and transformed and changed. I love this heart chakra energy. You're in emotional balance and you're in compassion. You have the fullness of cornucopia. You're in the fullness of your personal self-expression by knowing your destiny, knowing your purpose and standing in that purpose. And then you have that openness of caring, empathy, equality, acceptance, the nurturing energy of gentleness. That 10 brings you to the energy of what move forward now is that you remove all of the clutter, all of the chaos, all of the distraction in order to have peace. So the Four of Wands talks about accomplishment of goals, attainment, but it also is an energy that talks about peace, peace and openness and grounded and balanced vibration within your whole entire being. And that's that stability. It's also bringing in an evidence of your current transformation and growth out of everything that you've gone through, the transformation and growth. And I also just heard the glow up is real coming in in the energy of your temperance, Sagittarian energy, Knight of Wands. <laughs> you can't make this up. Sagittarius energy is coming in on Sagittarius energy. I love it. It's all about that harmony and balance vibration and really coming into the fullness of who you are, following your dreams and aspiration, moving forward and really truly learning the lessons, right? These are lessons learned about how to manifest, how to show up in the world, how to get to levels that you've never been to before and how to get them securely. You have sometimes you got to run over some things, right? I'm just getting that energy with the Knight of Wands because Knight of Wands goes after what they want. Sagittarian energy goes after what it is that they want. They're very communicative and expressive. Remember, we talked about that act of war. What do you believe in? 
What do you stand for? What will you fight for? That's that Knight of Wands energy. And if you don't fight for you, who will? Who will? That's the reason why this new moon is at one degrees. It's an Aries energy. It's the self. If you don't fight for you, then who will? Let's keep it moving. So what are we releasing, right? With that devil energy. Look, the lovers. You cannot make this up. Bad choices in love. Or maybe just a loving energy that was toxic to you. That you knew you had to choose you, right? This is looking back over old times. Looking back over the energy that may have just been lust filled. You have a higher level with the crown chakra energy. You have a much higher level of awareness, of understanding because you followed that third eye. You see she's cloaked in third eye energy. Making better choices for oneself in expressions in love, right? Beautiful. I choose is the energy of the lovers and you get to choose what you will and you won't allow. What type of love that you want, desire, send those rockets of desire out into the universe and the universe will respond in kind. But you want to only put in for equally yoked or matched energy. That's the key. The energy has to be equally yoked and matched. You can put out a rocket of desire into the energy into the universe but what's going to come back is what matches your vibration so there was an exercise that one of the she used to be on youtube she i haven't seen her in a while i think her name was kelly expect miracles and there was an activity god bless you kelly um i haven't seen her on in a while but there was an energy um exercise i meant to say that she did where you write on one side of the paper all of the things that you want in your divine counterpart or mate and then you fold that in half and you see if you also match or have those qualities as well and if you don't then that's something that maybe you want to work on within yourself so that you can draw on or draw in that equally yoked or equally matched energy all right i love it good energy coming through and then we have the energy of that eclipse right the tower energy something shocking something shocking this whatever you're manifesting is going to shock you it is a part of your destiny but it's a part of your wishes and your dreams and your wish fulfillment but at the same time it's a dream but it's also a dream knight of cups that comes true because look what sits between it the three of coins energy, this dream is manifesting into something tangible, something in reality. You're truly manifesting and materializing your hopes and dreams with this new moon and Sagittarius energy. You can't make it up. This is beautiful. So the sun energy is coming in. I mean, the star in the place of the star energy, excuse me. In the place of the star energy, this shock, this revelation, this universal blessing that's being bestowed upon you, you have the energy of the seven of swords. So this is someone who's trying to sabotage, right? Or your own personal energy of sabotaging. I want to say that it may be collected to, connected to external circumstances and old badge choices and lovers, external energy. Because this is the energy of the tower. Somebody's blessings are being bestowed and there's no way that you can deta detract or deter from that because it's destined that you're going to overcome. I, I really feel like these are like psychic attacks that are coming in from this five of wands energy. Because you're moving in silence, because you're co-creating with source. I'm really feeling that as this certain kind of external psychic attack energy, because the devil is also coming in in the space of what's going on in your community, what's going on around you. This is a space of connection. And what's in your connected energy here is that five of wands, competitions, battles, chaos, jealousy is coming up here. 
with that seven of swords trying to get over trying to get away with something but it's also bringing in that energy of in the energy of 17 of being mindful of of again your own personal self-sabotaging behaviors or acts or disbelief i don't thank you spirit spirit said no this is disbelief that this could truly happen this is an energy of disbelief that these blessings are truly coming in because it's coming in in the energy of the tower. It's a shock. That energy is a complete and total shock. A wake up call for you. That brings in that realization. And then you have the energy of your own personal self-discovery is the energy of the star. Your own personal self-discovery is going to shock you. So don't don't. Don't self-sabotage crown chakra energy. Listen to your intuition. It is truly guiding you. This is also saying continue to function in silence. Continue to keep things close to your chest. Continue to work with just the most high so that you can eliminate anything external that may be trying to block you from whatever it is that you're manifesting. That's a, a message of what spirit is saying. No, this is what I need them to know. That you have to continue to move in silence as this dream is not only going to be a shock to you, but it's going to be a shock to other people. But it's going to put you in the limelight. Right. And whenever you get catapulted into the limelight where people are seeing you, it draws in negative energy. It could be the same negative energy that you moved and walked away from, but it also can be new, new negative energy. But there's that energy of learning from right we've learned the lessons this is what the seven of swords says have you learned the lessons because it's a test from the universe sevens are always tests along the path before you can ascend have you learned the lesson have you come to that realization been there done that not going back because that's what the seven of swords energy is asking you been there done there been there done that not going back so let's see what's being hidden. Seven of Cups. Yeah. Seven of Cups is that energy of discontent. It's also an energy of another seven coming back and back. Tests. Temptation. I always think of the Seven of Cups as temptation. Too much of anything is bad. Needing to balance out and temper that energy. So just be mindful that there may be some hidden things coming up for you. Oh, the moon energy for me talks about the art of detachment. So there's that learning curve of the art of detaching yourself from things that are temporary emotions or play on your emotions, things that not authentic and real. Practice in the art of attachment. Have you learned from the smoke and the mirrors from the energy of deception? Have you created or established or built a level of discernment? Because discernment is going to be needed, as especially as you move to higher levels. This is the act of learning. This is the act of living. This is where you are right now. And this is what you're moving into, the stage of your life of ascension and mastery. So have you gained the ability of discernment? And the star is the seer, being able to see Right. It's the, it's the culmination of all that is. It's the astrology, it's the numerology, it's the Akashics, it's the expression of destiny as the seer and being able to tap into the universal consciousness, connectedness, sourced energy of all that is so that you can discern. So th this is asking you about your ability of discernment, the hidden fears. And the hidden fears that's coming up for you is your inability to trust your own intuition. So let's see what's coming in for the sun energy. What's being renewed or healed? Five of coins. Your ability to be able to build and create what this is that you desire. To be able to take your finances and to invest them in, in a way in which they become an asset to you and not a liability. It's a transformation and a change, especially if you've never reached levels or heights of queen of coin or queen of pentacle energy, where you've been able to move beyond a space and place of paycheck to paycheck or just having enough or a little over enough. We're all at different levels. 
So we still strive to get to the next level with that Sagittarian energy. So what's coming up as an expression for you as you strive to get to the next level? And the sun is being illuminated on what needs to change. And that's that money mindset. And it's also the energy of five. What do you believe? And it's, hey, what do you believe around money? What do you believe around your capability to become that queen of pentacle? To have all of the resources, all of the tools, all of the res um, financial reward that it is that you desire. Overcoming the fear and trusting in your intuition is how this energy is coming through. Overcoming your fears and trusting in your inner in your intuition and to practice the art of detachment, Eight of Cups energy, from anything that does not align with your highest ideal. And I'm getting a little bit of people may feel it being rejected or left out in the cold. I'm just going to say what I heard. But if they were meant to be on that level with you, then they would be growing with you as well. Too many times we've settled, not requested or asked for what we were worth out of fear of rejection or whatever it is, not feeling as if though we deserved more than that. But that's changing with that Sagittarian energy. The new moon in Sagittarius energy is talking about what's changing about what you believe that you deserve, about your money mindset, about what you believe that you can accomplish. And how are you planning and making that change to plant those seeds to move forward? So let's see. Coming in in the world energy, Eight of Swords. This is the energy of going back over and over and over and over again. The false truths and the things that we tell ourselves that are not true. These are the things that come from our parents, come from our early development. That's why it's root chakra energy. The things that we've learned about finances that weren't true. The things that we've learned about organized, structured religion or philosophies and ways of life that may or may not have been true. Those are the things that have just been blocking us from our paradise. From the energy of what it is that we're meant to have. Those old negative mindsets and beliefs. So there's that judgment that's coming in with the 20 energy that talks about the energy of awareness. You're becoming aware of those old mindsets and how they've been a blocking your ascension and growth. Coming into your cosmic conscious energy, energy of the world. Two of cups. Love is all we need. Love is all we need. Positive connections is all we need. Kundalini energy. And I already seen what's at the bottom of the deck. I was waiting till the end, but I mistakenly looked at it. Um, but yeah, there's the Two of Cups energy that talks about connection. But for me, it also talks about the integration of your masculine and fem feminine Kundalini energy. And they're flanking each other with the lovers. Also talks about the integration of your masculine and feminine, your magician and your high priestess, your intuition and your manifester infusing that energy of spirit with the energy of the universe, the ethers and all that is so that you can manifest. So all that it matters is love. And that's not surprising for a Sagittarius new moon. Love for self means love for others. All right, beautiful souls. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the energy of judgment. You cannot make this up. Judgment coming in in the energy of judgment. And so that's what we're working on is that judgment energy. Working on understanding ourselves better not judging ourselves so harshly, understanding that there's a purpose to the path and why we go through the things that we go through so that we can learn. And when we have these epiphanies and realizations and awareness of what needs to change with that eight energy is the strength to overcome the fears, the strength to overcome the insecurities, the strength to move outside of your comfort zone. To make yourself a little bit uncomfortable. Nothing grows without uncomfortability. Even when we look at building muscles, you have to tear the old muscle down in order to build the muscle up stronger. When it comes to losing weight, there's discomfort involved with the end results of what it is or how it is that you want to shape your body and how you want to look. It goes back to the energy of sacrifice. So with that Sagittarian energy, it's all about the energy of sacrifice. So what is the new beginning or the new path for you, beautiful soul? 
is to rid your own self of any self-deceiving, self-defeating behaviors that are no longer in vibration with your highest vibrational good. You're surrendering yourself and setting yourself free and moving into this energy of having a higher level of awareness, a higher level of understanding. Because of the crown chakra energy, it's that ability of discernment. So using your ability of discernment to help you to manifest and grow. So let's go ahead and pull your Oracle message for this new moon. Oh, I'm not pulling the one off the top. It's this new moon and Sagittarius energy. I hope you enjoyed this reading and that it's given you some tools that you can use to help to set your seeds of intention for your manifestations and growth. All right. And three more shuffles for knowledge for wisdom and perfect self-expression and so it is thank you spirit i am so grateful i am so grateful i am so grateful and your oracle message is look at it it came back out again I, you cannot make this up. Spirit said, no, I said what I said. I pulled this card off the top when I meant to shuffle. And then I shuffled and it came back out again because Spirit said, no, I meant what I said. It's divine wisdom, beautiful soul. Divine wisdom. I create, I make, I do. The six energy talks about the harmony in the choices that you make, divine wisdom brings you into your divine spiritual being energy of nine. That's the fullest actualization of the soul that one can attain. It's the energy of self-actualization. And I love the fact that it brings in the sacral and the solar plexus energy together. So let's go ahead and talk about this 36 energy. This is a very high vibrational energy. It also lets me know that the angels and the spirit guides are with you all now. It's considered the soul star chakra. So I love it. This is soul star chakra energy. All right, beautiful souls. Divine wisdom. Soul star chakra. You have the divine wisdom of the universe available to you at this time. All the time. As you may know, you are deeply connected to and an expression of divine light of the universe. This divine light has within it the power of knowledge and wisdom of the cosmos. This light is all knowing, wise and all loving, intelligent light. You are reminded at this time that this wisdom is at your fingertips, that you are made up of this wisdom and that it runs through your blood. You can access it at will. If you have been searching for answers and guidance from sources outside of yourself, it's now time to look inward. It's time to tune in, connect to, and become aware of the divine wisdom that lies within. Trust the calling to deepen and awaken this aspect of yourself as you start to also trust the wisdom that comes to you. Take a moment in a quiet place Ask your questions and listen to the voice inside your heart offering you the answers and singing the song of divine wisdom. The answers lie within the chamber of your own heart. Sometimes it can be challenging bypassing those crazy thoughts in your head in order to get to your heart. However, once you get that feeling in your body that everything is just right, you will know you are there then it is a matter of trusting the process and as it grows stronger to use it just like a muscle. It's your time to flex your heart and listen to the divine wisdom it has to offer. It pulsates through every cell of your being, ready and waiting for you to awaken to its calling. Your affirmation, beautiful souls. I am aligned to the divine wisdom of the universe and it flows through me in abundance. That has been your new moon and Sagittarius readings, beautiful souls. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. I am truly honored and I am so grateful. If you haven't already done so, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that like button. Share these videos with those that you believe could benefit from the messages and subscribe. Become a part of the Soul Joiner family where we learn 
grow and expand together, working to raise the collective consciousness one unique soul at a time. And that unique soul is you. Until our soul paths cross again, soul joiners, I am wishing you love, peace, blessings, happiness, and abundance be on to you. Have a blessed and abundant Thanksgiving holiday, new moon in Sagittarius Wednesday, and a wonderful weekend. Namaste.